My name is Corey Storch. I'm a councilman in Plainfield. I represent the second ward. Starting March 3rd, we're going to get off-peak one-seed ride. That's a start. It, it moves us in a direction that we've been planning for a long time. There's a lot of ingredients that are in the mix. We have a redeveloper. We actually have a few uh, developers for downtown. Uh, we have some residential units that are starting to come online right now, and there's more in, uh, being planned and actually under construction. We, uh, we have plans for revitalizing the commercial district, and the one seed ride is, is really important. It's, it's just going to create a spark that, that moves all these projects along. Hi, I'm Bill Nearsted. I'm the planning director for the city of Plainfield. I'm also a resident and councilman in the borough of Garwood. We hope that just as similar to the uh, Montclair lines, it will spur development around the stations. We have created here in Plainfield two transit-oriented developments, development areas, one at Downtown Station and one at Netherwood Station. So we are very, uh, we're looking forward very much to this one seat ride spurring development. You, you know, there, there's a number of urban centers in New Jersey and actually around the country where you see a transit-oriented um, area where development has taken place. There's a lot of benefit to um, property owners. Oh, absolutely. I mean, certainly property yes. values because people will be more likely to move here if they can commute into the city. Exactly. It's more convenient for them. I think with the one-seat ride, uh, the economic development for both Plainfield and the Netherwood section uh, is really going to increase our visibility among people who might not know the area. As you bring more people in, you're going to see more activity. I mean, I've lived here for 35 years, and I think when I first moved here, there was a little bit of um, culture and art where, you know, personally, I would love to come downtown, have a good dinner, hear some jazz, um, and I've been waiting for that. And one, one city that comes to mind as something for us to look to is Jersey City. Now, not, no, granted, we don't have a uh, waterfront facing Manhattan, so you know, I'm not saying that there's a direct comparison, but Jersey City has a lot of transit. It has a lot of rail service. Uh, it has ferry service. All of those things create traffic. They, cre they also create jobs. I'm very happy to have this first phase of the Raritan Valley Line rail corridor uh, one-seat ride to New York implemented. I'm very happy for it, but I just can't wait for phases two, three, and four where they will implement the one seat ride during the off-peak hours on nights and then on weekends and then on peak hours to be implemented. I look forward to that very much. I think it's very important. I hope it works. I hope yeah. they implement it full time. Get on board and let's make this work. All right. Thank you, Suse. On March 3rd, I'm asking all of the residents of the city of Plainfield to join me. Let's take a ride the one-seat ride into New York City.